Okay, you guys, so this is how I want you to go about working on your um, your rendering of a graphite cube. Um, uh, now, one thing to realize as I'm doing this little demo, this is basically a, a, a pseudo demo because I'm doing it on Photoshop. It's obviously not quite the same as what you guys are going to be doing. So try to imagine these dimensions are accurate. Don't be just free form, obviously, with yours. Um, so let's say we have you know this is our board and this is the area around it first first thing I would do uh, to keep it neat tape it off use drafting tape okay that's pretty obvious but I don't wanna don't want anyone to uh, not know that so tape it off with masking tape and then uh, using a previous drawing which is what I'd recommend it really doesn't matter uh, Place your drawing very lightly into this area using a graphite transfer sheet. Now let's just say it ends up something like, um, I'll make it look like my previous one. You know, so let's say it, it looks something like this. And you know, now obviously don't sketch yours like this. I want yours to be done mechanically. Um, I'm just creating this here real quickly for us to look at. So let's say I've got a line drawing and the thing looks something like this. Okay, so that might be what I've transferred down to the page. Um, now if you're doing this mechanically and, and you know with a sharp pencil and everything it'll look very clean. But so that's something that we that you might start with. Now once you've got this down on the board then what you're going to want to do is you're going to just want to you know, take your graphite pencil and do the thing we've been doing, you know, with the little tiny circles like this, you know, until you fill it in. And again, just like, you know, use the knowledge you gained from your grayscale. Don't uh, don't rush it. Don't try and speed it up. Uh, use the hard pencils and then use the so softer pencils in conjunction to get those nice rich areas. Now, one thing that you should pay very close attention to, though, is pay attention to a cor any of the corners where you're going to have all three values next to each other, like this. You know, so maybe we have our darkest value here, you know, uh, our mid value here, and our lightest value here. Now, what this real challenge is about, what I really want you guys to be thinking about, is this is about simulating reality and doing it out of your imagination. So you need to think about some of the physics involved here, which is, uh, you know, if you're putting down a surface, and I do, I would suggest you obviously put in some kind of surface here. If you put in a surface or a background for this, um, you know, that's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's also gonna contribute to that feeling of reality. Now, please don't do it this casually, you know, you, you know I'm not wanting you to crosshatch it. I want it to be a seamless thing like with the grayscale. I'm just doing this to speed things up. But you know, notice that you're going to have to do things like, okay, am I going to see a difference between that shadow and this shadow? I will, but to what degree? You know, that's, that's the challenge of this project. I'm going to see a value difference with a white cube. I'm going to see a value difference between this side and this side but to what degree? Same thing up here. These two sides might both be in the light, but which side is going to be receiving more light based upon a shadow at this angle? So these are some kind of challenging questions. Um, and again, the reason why we're doing this is eventually we're going to be going through and doing a bunch of different solids this way. And I want you guys to start thinking about, well, you know, what's the light like? Would I, you know, should I put a darker edge up here hold that white shape. Um, this is all, you know, uh, this is all kind of advanced rendering stuff. This is where you really have to start thinking about it. Now, will you know all the answers? No. I don't expect you to, but I want you to play with it. I want you to see what you can do and see what kinds of effects you can create. Um, ideally, I'd like you to do this out of your head. Once in a while, you may want to take a look at some reference, but, but please don't do it from the reference or don't you know base it on something you observe from real life I want you to learn how to do this out of your head so um, so that's the challenge is render this cube and make it look like you did look at reference but don't 
Um, I don't know. I hope you guys understand that challenge. Again, it's a little weird doing this over YouTube. I don't know quite what I think about this, but let's see how it goes. And uh, we'll talk about these. I'd like you to have these finished for in class on Wednesday and Thursday, and then we can discuss them. If anyone can finish it between now and Tuesday or Monday, great, but I don't expect that. Uh, but it would give us something to talk about. So anyway, uh, see what you can do, and let's go from there.